Sarah Ferguson was one of the notable names left off of King Charles III's guest list for the coronation on May 6, especially since she's a former member of the working royal family. Ahead of the big day, Fergie shared how she'd be celebrating. I hope you have got the bunting out ready for the coronation tomorrow. I certainly have. Today I assembled a tea fit for a king which I shared with the residents at the Manor Care Home in Windsor to help them celebrate. Enjoy the weekend. She captioned a series of photos on Instagram. The Duchess of York's tea party featured a special drink called Camilla's Tea and a tasty treat called Charles's Crunchy Cream Cake. Muick and Sandy, the late Queen Elizabeth II's Pembroke Welsh Corgis, were also a part of Sarah's festivities. Sarah adopted the corgis after the monarch's death in September 2022. Sarah wasn't upset over not being invited to the coronation. I personally will be having a little tea room and coronation chicken sandwich and putting out the bunting, that's what I'm going to be doing. Because that would make me very happy, she said on the talk show Loose Women. I also love to watch it on the telly because you hear a lot on the telly. The commentators are always good. And then all the family come back. She added, because, remember, I am divorced from him Prince Andrew. I don't expect you can't have it both ways. You can't be divorced and then say, I want this. You're in or you're out. Prince Andrew and Fergie married in 1986 and divorced in 1996. They have two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. Despite her divorce from Prince Andrew, Fergie remained close to Queen Elizabeth II. She also still lives with Prince Andrew in Windsor. Prince Andrew, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie all attended the coronation. Prince Andrew did not have a formal role during the coronation since he is no longer a working royal. Prince Andrew was stripped of his military titles and patronages in 2022 after a sex abuse lawsuit surfaced. He was able to keep his Duke of York title, but he is no longer addressed as His Royal Highness. The coronation service of Their Majesties the King Charles III and the Queen Camilla was attended by a congregation of more than 2,200 guests, including members of the royal family, international representatives from over 200 countries, and approximately 100 heads of state. The hand-painted invitation, which was shared via the royal's Instagram, was sent to all guests. Notably absent among the guests were US President Joe Biden, though his wife, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, attended, and Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who stayed in America with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. In the official announcement for the King's coronation made back in October 2022, Buckingham Palace promised that the coronation would reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry. The Archbishop of Canterbury performed the official crowning of Charles with St. Edward's crown and the crowning of Camilla with Queen Mary's crown at Westminster Abbey on Saturday, May 6. The coronation service of Their Majesties the King Charles III and the Queen Consort was attended by a congregation of more than 2,200 guests, including members of the royal family international representatives from over 200 countries, and approximately 100 heads of state. The hand-painted invitation, which was shared via the royal's Instagram, was sent to all guests. Notably absent among the guests were US President Joe Biden, though his wife, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, attended, and Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, who stayed in America with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. In the official announcement for the King's coronation made back in October 2022, Buckingham Palace promised that the coronation would reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future, while being rooted in long-standing traditions and